did uh, with uh, former President Benjamin Mkapa, who just uh, cast uh, his vote. He's going to tell us how he feels. I feel great. Absolutely great. I'm delighted. First, because the cause of the campaign has been very peaceful. Um, we have seen that our people are very, are very politically mature. We have had large, large campaign rallies. They have all passed very peacefully. People have had time to contemplate about uh, the promises that were being made and the expectations can be properly assessed now. As you can see, there is an orderly situation here at the polling station. I hope it continues this way because in this way we will be able to maintain our, our unity and exercise our democratic right to choose our leaders in tranquility. So I am very pleased indeed. Well, pundits uh, say this has been the most energetic and uh, probably the most contested election um, in the 50-odd years that Tanzania has been um, a democracy. The results will show whether it has been very heavily contested, but certainly you can't dispute the fact that it has been probably the most expensive that we have witnessed since we went into multi-party system. Do you have confidence that, I mean, with an opposition that may have been uh, buoyed by big rallies and uh, having made strides uh, uh, that they hope to have made, that uh, they will be, are you confident that everyone will accept the outcome? Well, I ask everyone to accept the outcome because the arrangements are almost uh, impossible to fault. And um, the members of the Electoral Commission are people of great integrity, of a history of service to this country. And the arrangements, as far as I can see, are very, very clear and simple for everyone. Uh, one must have trust in them. And if you have trust in them, there's no reason to dispute the results. Being a, a, a former head of state yourself, what in 2015 are the challenges facing Tanzania? The three challenges remain with us. Uh, ignorance and poverty and ill health but also problems of access to water, to education, and so on. We have made great strides over the last 54 years or so, but a lot remains to be changed, to, 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 to be realized. The greatest challenge we have is really to, to step up the growth of the economy, because that increases not only the revenues of the government, which enables the government to provide better services, but also increases the, the, the wealth of individual, individual citizens. And so that is the challenge. Of growth but in order to do that we have good policies i believe my party has very good policies that it has demonstrated over the last 54 years but in addition to that we must also remind ourselves of the basic policy line of tanzania which has always been uh, um, elaborated by our founding president Mwalimu julius nyerere which is self-reliance we must be able to mobilize ourselves and our energies for development i think those are the three the, the two challenges that i see most on a last and very separate issue, uh, Mr. President, um, there is an issue that's refusing to go away on the continent, and that is of uh, leaders who want to cling to power um, no matter what it takes. Your view on that, leaders who don't want to leave office, who will do whatever is within their means um, to stay in power. I'm a constitutionalist when it comes to that. Um, one must live by the constitution and must live up to the demands of the Constitution. Uh, situations which change from country to country, but on balance, I would say if there's a statute of limitations, the honorable thing is to stick to the statute of limitations. But it depends upon the country and what the Constitution says. Should we limit it to that? Uh, one is just thinking, uh, because as much as I um, mean, other democracies or some democracies do not want, uh, I mean, do not impose limits, but should it be like that, ideally, that is? Ideally, ideally, every country must design a constitution which enables its people to live in freedom and development. And if this is, is the constitution so says and it has the consent of the people, we must live by it. Mr. President, thank you very much for your time. Former President of Tanzania, uh, Mr. Benjamin Mugaba.